Uh, but I think that we as a party are going to have to think about our overarching na uh, narrative and we're also going to have to make sure that when we engage people, we engage them where they live and where they experience things. They're not thinking about 10-point policy plans. They are not thinking about the intricacies of the Medicaid, you know, B plus, you know, uh, provision, and they're not thinking about North Korea. Uh, what they're thinking about is how how do I advance uh, my life prospects? How do I make my sure that my child well, but is. they seem to I mean and, you know there's a book about uh, what's wrong with Kansas right. as you know right and the, you know my mother's from Kansas so <laughs> the, uh, a, yeah and and basically the book argues that so to people in in hardship cases yeah. people of who have not gotten the best end of the American dream right. are voting on faith issues yeah. and morality issues rather than on economic interest right. It, which suggests that that has somehow become a touchstone in a way that there's... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you an example. That, that there's a, a, a town that I spoke about in my speech, actually, uh, in Illinois, and it's, it's, I think, representative of many towns in, in the Midwest. Galesburg, Illinois. They've got 36,000 people. They've lost 4,000 jobs right. in the last two years. 20% of their employment base collapses because companies move out to Mexico. So you sit down and you talk to union workers, 50, 55-year-old guys, who the best that's being offered to them is retraining to be nurses assistants right. right these guys with beards and you know tough guys who are used to handling heavy machinery uh, they're not optimistic about the the prospects for uh, them to be able to attain the kinds of economic security that they had uh, in under the old system so they've got insecurity in their economic life they don't know where their health care is coming from. They don't know what's happening with their pension. What they do know is is that they can go out with their friends and hunt and, and feel a sense of camaraderie, and there's a connection between hunting and them going out with their father to hunt, just as there's a connection maybe for their wives to going to church and going with their grandmother to church. <coughs> and if we don't have plausible answers on the economic front and we appear to be condescending towards those traditions that are giving their lives some, <coughs> some stability, um, then you know, they're going to opt for at least that party that seems to be speaking to the things that uh, are giving, that still provide them some, something solid to stand on. And some sense that, that they're not being looked down on. Exactly. Somebody does not think that they right. are contemptuous of them.